Hello everybody, this is Zigzag Zog coming to you from somewhere in this world. We're back to continue our playthrough of Phoenix Point featuring the newest Corrupted Horizons DLC. And ahead of us we have a common mission uh, way back from uh, day one. But we gotta get it done, we gotta get it going. We gotta got start building some diplomacy with Synedrian since they are the haven that seems to be the nearest to us. So we need to take advantage of that. Uh, we're going to get down in here and uh, just get going right away. The special mission we don't need to read. We read that last episode. Uh, we just got to stop a group of thieves that have been uh, causing some consternation here in the Synedrian Haven. Uh, we have some new team members that have been named uh, from the three that we rescued. So welcome aboard to Shane, the Marine Grunt, uh, and I think the last name is Vanson that doesn't quite fit fit on here with such a big nickname uh, but welcome aboard as one of our new snipers Callum Robertson Robertson you've been around a while so welcome back as a sniper in this iteration and uh, we'll take a look if we have a chance we have uh, our, our newest assault is back at the base and he's been given the name of Kairos so Kairos makes a return in this playthrough as an assault so uh, th those are the newest soldiers that we've picked up. Now let's go equip. Oh, and one other thing I did. I, I named, uh, I, believe it or not, I named a, a ship myself. And we're, we're going to start out with our first Manticore, calling it the, the Incorruptible in honor of the new DLC. And hopefully we can keep that airship incorruptible <laughs> throughout the playthrough. We'll find out how that works. Uh, let's go outfit these guys were probably in pretty decent shape other than the grenades that we may have used so let's do this first um, let me back up and just put a couple things in the queue of manufacturing I'm not gonna go hog wild because we don't have the resources but I do want a couple more med kits because we got a couple more individuals to to potentially heal on a mission and I do want to line up some replacement grenades for the ones we used and there we go. Now let's get in here and get ourselves finally outfitted for this mission. So Joe Murata, like I said, you're in pretty good shape. The other, th uh, the only thing we want to do at this point is we want to get you another med kit, and uh, we probably will need to build some more because we didn't recover the med kits that we used in the first episode and boy we took a few more injuries than i would have preferred for our very first episode but at least we all made it out in one piece uh, so i may end up in fact i'll do it right now give ourselves a, a excuse me i don't want you to take it from here well let's just do this let's build a physical another one and bring it down here so we have more to equip okay there that kind of accomplished what i wanted um Skill points, we're going to give you another shot of Will, Joe Murata, just because eventually with Boom Blast and Rage Burst, we're going to want it down the road. Michael Romanov, we need to give you one of those med kits. We used one on you, and we're going to pop in another pit of Will for you along the way here. Uh, we're probably okay with this makeup as far as you being outfitted, Max. Uh, you may have started with two med kits, so now we'll give you no no brand new one, but at least you have one. And uh, that's the way we're going to have you equipped. Max was our first promotion last episode, if you didn't see it. So he's our lone assault right at the moment that has some dash. You, Takeda, you're in fine shape. We'll see if we can find you another wonderful perch with which to pick off the enemies and uh, we'll give you a little will for quick aim once you get there and Shane Marine Grunt Vanson uh, we got to get you equipped and uh, I, I definitely want to get one more med kit because we have one more sniper going out and uh, what we're going to do is uh, Shane Vanson I think we're going to upgrade you because this independent armor is just not as good accuracy wise plus four accuracy versus our Phoenix point is plus eight, plus it gives you a tiny bit of stealth. So let's switch you out. In fact, we'll give you the extra fancy duds here that we have. And and one thing I gotta I gotta let you know, and maybe I'll, if I'll remember at some point, I'll pin it in the comments. There is a new uh, code you can put in for some new 
out promo outfits that I did not realize till after I started this playthrough. So there's one more. I think it. I can't remember. Was it? I think it was heavy armor, perhaps. I, I forget what I read, but there is one more promo code. I'll make sure I look it up and pin it in one of these episodes in the comments. So if you do like these cool new bits of armor that they've provided us with, uh, you can also uh, use the promo code to get access to them. They give them some si slightly different looks, uh, some cool things going. In fact, we'll give you uh, one of those upgraded looking uh, pistols or <laughs> pistol. That's a little more than a pistol. Uh, to get you outfitted too here, Shane. And we need some backup ammo. I don't think... I think what we'll do is we'll put the ammo here. We need a pistol. And that's going to be the last pistol. So we're going to have to build a pistol for our last uh, sniper also. That's going to be a requirement. We probably don't need eight shots. Uh, we're starting to run low on resources already, but we're going to spend seven materials for the extra cartridge there. And uh, you, Shane, are ready to go out. Callum, I, I figured we'll keep you a little more bare bones just because you have experience from the other seasons. You're, you're a veteran, uh, so you can defer to the new guy to give him the fancy stuff. And did we get the right stuff here? Swamp Cat, no, we want our own. Oh, maybe I, oh, here's the other legs. There we go. Now you got the Phoenix look uh, that we all know and love. And we don't have a pistol for you. And we're just gonna go pistol less. Uh, actually, we're gonna keep this ammo there and we're gonna bring you a med kit so at least we can keep you healthy. And there's the team going out. We're, we're sniper heavy, which never bothers me early on. And let's just take a look at the last two. Callum, you have a cross class for a trooper with that assault rifle proficiency. It's always nice as a sniper to have handgun proficiency and you can carry extra stuff if we pick all those. And finally, uh, Shane, you also have the, you have a very similar make out, makeup, but with Thief, if we have the opportunity, that can help us be a sneaky infiltrator kind of sniper. Uh, so we'll have a little bit of difference between you and Callum. All right, let's get down there. Those are thoughts. I'm never locked in stone. If you have other ideas, feel free to share them down in the comments. Uh, but that's that's my early thoughts on how we may develop these guys. Uh, we're going to see you down on the battlefield. All items on this battlefield will be automatically recovered so we don't have to run around picking anything up. All right, and here we go. Let's just pan out and take a look at exactly how the buildings are looking. So it's two mega buildings uh, that we've got to deal with. Uh, I'm thinking mm, it's kind of awkward when you get that big lump. I like it when it's a little more open in the middle. This mission, uh, obviously the early missions I have more experience with. I've had this mission play like a, a, a high level Gosh, it's so hard. And then there's other times I play this thing and I'm going, why am I ever sweating it out on this particular mission? I don't know. Now we do not have a lot of will to use, although I can pick up some will here, but the only guy using will are my jet jumps and uh, I got a dasher now. And of course the dasher is way in the back. So let's set up initially. We don't see anybody. Let's set up initially to get some sniper angles through the center. We're going to have to be aware of the windows up high because I've all had had individuals <laughs> utilize those windows to, to shoot down upon us. So we, we're going to move up so we leave enough movement to be able to over. Oh, we don't even have the overwatch perks yet. So... Um, that's how far I can move to be able to still overwatch. <laughs> well, we can always pistol overwatch, at least to start. Um, yeah, well, at least we have two-way cover here, so we'll give this a go with you, you Takeda, right up front and center. I'm on the move. And right now we see nothing. Uh, we're going to give cover slightly farther over to give us a slightly different angle in that courtyard and to maybe get some covering shots over on this side as we set up. It's, it's always tough to set up when you don't know exactly where they are. Advancing. 
And yeah, we definitely do not know where they are right now. So maybe we take a chance with our heavy, maybe jump you into a great cover position up here just to start gaining some awareness perhaps on where some enemies might be. Uh, that's usually, at least in past experience, oh, we can't even get up there because that freaking thing's right in the way for you. Uh, so we're still, we'll still step to the side and uh, make the jump from there. I don't, we can't even do war cry yet, so it's not like it's going to make a difference. That's usually the protection for a heavy jumping into the unknown, is at least he can war cry what's there to minimize the damage they can do uh, in return. But we'll jump into here so you have two-way cover and see if that'll be good enough. Now we could, maybe I should jump straight to the highest ground possible but it's less protected and especially I've seen enemies start on the top so let's give ourselves the best cover possible on this first jump and we see nothing anyway typical overthinking by zigzag on the first move um, we can at least bring you out here Callum for some pistol overwatch Yeah, I kind of like initially some two-way cover. We're going to bring you wide so we at least have uh, potential sniper shots down in there. And so far, these little bandit friends of Synedrian are playing stealthy. I think maybe uh, I, I, I'm going to run you over here, Michael Romanov. You do not have dash yet either. We'll take this cover here. Yeah, it'll at least get us the option to get into the buildings if that's where they start spawning. And then uh, Max, the grapevine. Let's see if you can hear it on the grapevine and find out where they are. Jeez, oh Pete, there's no... Any place if I push you up too far can be dangerous. I guess what we'll do is we'll make this building on this side are our first object to gain control of by sending you over here. We're going to hold on to your dash since your will points are only nine right now. That's only three dashes. Let's rock. And uh, we'll make uh, with with sniper cover. Uh, we'll have the assaults go clearing the buildings at the moment with some support from the heavy being able to jump in there as needed. And uh, I think that's it. We're, we're just about done. Let's just set some overwatch and be ready. At least overwatch with those who are able. And you are not Shane because you don't have the quick overwatch yet. And I didn't get you a pistol. We're a pistol shy. We're going to have to remember that. We'll cover over here. Nothing's not too long range because these are early pistols are not exactly. In fact, we don't have a pistol here either. Could have sworn. No, you, Callum, I, I guess we didn't outfit. Oh, I know what we did here. I bet you I didn't equip it over here. Or did I equip you with pistol ammo? See, I've done that before. <laughs> In my haste. <laughs> this is now the second time I've done this. In a playthrough. In my early game haste, I see the pistol, but I equipped you with ammo and nothing to shoot it with. So uh, while we're here, let's at least put that because that's going to matter more to us down the road. <laughs> the fun of playing with the zigzag. Okay, so the two snipers out there will hang tough. And let's see what we find. They should start charging us now and hopefully not shooting and hurting us too badly. Okay, we hear our first... First guy, does he have a shot on us? No, that was all movement. So they're pretty far back early on. Born again, anarchist. My turn. And I'm fine if they want to stay back. And we got our assaults to help clear the building. Now we don't hear anything yet over on this side of the map. So let's see if uh, there's a way. Okay, there's something right below the heavy over here. And we could come down and bash, although you do not have the bash. It's only 55 damage, so that's not smart early game. We do not have the perk yet that increases the strength of our bash. Plus, they nerfed bash uh, a little while ago. 
So bashing is a little more realistic as opposed to overpowered. And we got to figure out how we can best get upstairs with our assault. So actually our assaults will not be able to help out on the upper story until we get all the way to the back. So there doesn't seem to be any ladders. Yeah, until we get way over here or to the staircase. So this is a design of a building that is not necessarily in our favor. Hmm. Well, I think what we'll still do is uh, advance on the interior. Now, this there's nothing to prevent this guy from running over here and jumping down, but hopefully that would use too much movement to allow him to then also shoot. So we're going to move up here forward, uh, maybe towards the ladder to get upstairs if we need to. And we're going to do that with you, Grapevine. Like the wind. And then we're going to uh, also come inside, probably through the window. Yeah, a little bit through the window. And we're going to take up position here, which will allow us shots if they start jumping down into this courtyard. Although we have that fairly well covered with our snipers. Catch me if you can. Okay, so you broke through a slightly different window than I was planning. Uh, I think... Hmm... It doesn't do me any good bringing you to the edge because you wield your gun low and the railings prevent you from shooting of that gun. So the question becomes where, oh where, do I want to fly you to do us some good? Uh, maybe what we can do, does this guy have access? This guy will have access to us if he runs around and comes up. Um... Yikes, there's there's not a great place to put you yet. Joe Murata. At least to the point. So maybe what I got to do is bring you over towards the edge here. It would make you prone to a shot if he just runs out here and shoots up. But you're behind uh, the railing, so you shouldn't take too much damage. And at least then you can jump down for a shot if he stays nearby. Uh, so we'll take that risk. We'll take that chance. And leave you there. Stay safe. Max, stay safe there. And now we got to try and position our snipers in such a way that they can be of use to us over here. Yet hopefully not take too much damage. Um, part of me wants to say I'm not convinced that we're clear on this side. and part of, So part of me wants to say uh, let's stay here so we have a shot long range down here and we're just going to uh, one more turn provide that overwatch down here to see if we can pick something up just in case just just not feeling ultimately too safe yet with that position so let's inch you a little bit forward Shane Vanson uh, we aren't gonna be able to see anybody so we're, we're gonna be setting up some overwatch uh, for when these guys maybe move a little closer become seen by us we'll we'll straddle both sides of that pillar Let's see if we can pick someone up that way overwatching and uh, this guy in this room could potentially also run to this window to be able to have a shot down upon us and that's uh, a little bit of a scary thought so I'm going to move you over here I don't know if I overwatch into the window if his movement up to the window would would prompt an overwatch Rolling out. but we're gonna try protecting our snipers because they are the squishiest of the team and we're gonna give you that that task just in case you Takeda and uh, let's cross our fingers Here we go. and he's not going that way he spotted us up high and he's coming down that way and hopefully he only has a pistol, so it would appear. So we got to worry about pistoliers that can make, you know, they won't take us out with a shot, but they'll be able to uh, pile on the damage with multiple single action shots. Okay, we can finally see someone. Here we go. We can finally see two someones, and that one is a sniper. That one 
is more of a concern. We know this guy who jumped down, he, oh, he's also a sniper. So he's a sniper that only has a pistol. So these snipers uh, are only pistoliers. That's why they're only carrying pistols. But it's an accurate Sinidrian laser pistol and we don't need them shooting multiple shots with those early game. I'm thinking of jumping you down here, Joe Morata, and trusting you at this range this early in the game when our aim isn't always the best to be able to hit this guy and uh, do some damage for us. Please help us out. And once again, I, I you are not fully healed, so we, we don't want to be taking a lot of pistol shots. So this is in your self-interest to be accurate with your shot. And it's not... A bad chance. I think we'll just focus in on the arm. Not that that's going to make a difference in him being able to fire at us, but uh, it's probably centered in, so we have the best chance to hit. Let's see if two out of three can hit, and then I think we'll be in good shape. Well, he's dazed. Let's hope that prevents him from shooting too frequently, and it should. He shouldn't be able to do too much damage to us, plus we have the heavy armor. Okay. So no one ever did appear down here, but Callum, you have an angle on this guy. Let's see if it's a decent shot. Oh, I was afraid that tree. Well, fortunately we can sidestep the tree, I think a little bit to give us a decent shot. In fact, we'll take our own tree cover uh, to sidestep that angle and it should give us a nice, I think, Let's rotate. Yeah, it should give us a nice clear shot around that tree. And if it doesn't, we can still move slightly one more time. Let's do this. Yeah, that's much, much better. We can do a world of hurt. I would ideally like to take out the arm, but we're going to center in to give us the best chance to hit on this one. And we took out one arm, but of course the pistol <laughs> only requires one. What have we got here? We have another... So are they mostly snipers? Is that is that their designations here? That's, that's what it would appear to be. So what I maybe will do, since this guy's at a greater distance, I, I may just pull back you, you Takeda. And you don't have quick aim yet. I got to remember that. So if I pull you back, you're kind of going to be in the open. And we, we learned that uh, a position over here doesn't provide us with the best angle on this guy. So we'd, we'd have to come back and stand you in the open if we want a shot. Or we do this. We move this far, at least get you into cover, and try pistols at a distance, which... Not going to be high prob uh, probabilities for success. You saw how how the sniper rifle was at that range, so a pistol at this range is not going to be our great choice either. Hmm. Let's just see. First of all, uh, Shane, you cannot see this guy over here. Can we get you lined up in some way, like right here, to try and be able to take a shot? Well, it's definitely not a great chance, but it's a chance we're going to try. Oh, ho, 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 great job. We took out his arm that holds the pistol, but, you know, these guys have proven to be ambidextrous. He can still shoot his pistol. I guess uh, just to at least give us cover against this guy. Uh, we are going to go with the pistol route right here. I also have assaults in the interior if I, I feel a little nervous about that possibility, but I'd like to keep both of them available against this pistol guy, if if at all possible. I'm on the move. So you, I'm counting on you to have some pistol skills for me. Well, it's better than I expected, but still there's a lot of places we can miss. And we found one. Let's try again, because he's got a more accurate pistol than we do. So uh, we do want to hit him. And we got one more hit. So uh, maybe that'll make him think twice about hanging out here, and he'll scatter to the wind. 
One we one thing we can do, Michael Romanov. We can get you here, and it's not going to be far enough to get a shot on this guy. So if I bring nice you around, Max, do. we would have to figure out. I think what's important now to start hitting on their I will then you. is to leave this guy alone. Let's do a little repositioning over here and I don't think we it says we can see that guy through the door is that what this is telling me you'd think I'd be able to shoot through that door it is a glass door so we're gonna we're gonna come over here and see if I can on my own make this shot through the door if it'll allow me Rolling. Michael let's aim and let's see if we can burst through that door and take him out. Ha ha ha, it works. We love the glass doors, and we don't need to pick that up. And I think what we need to do now, we can't take any, that's the best cover we're going to have against this guy. So maybe what we do, just so we can at least have cover for when he moves, is uh, come back here. We'll, we'll leave you there, Michael. And Max, we could dash and take him out, but I don't think a single shot even at close range this early in the game is a kill shot so let's come back here let's do this and he can't jump out to the side to fake us out through the window he'd have to come too far back he'd have to come through the door at us let's cover the door and try to uh, stun him this way you stay there and let's see if we played this okay and so we don't take too much damage Oh. My turn. Okay, he's bleeding and moving forward. Oh, now that's a position. Fortunately, he missed through cover. Twice. And that's all he gets. Nice damage, but we're going to be prone to some close-up oh. shots from a pistol. Hopefully only two. And one of them missed... So Michael Romanov, uh, pop in an Excedrin. Oh my goodness, that was a hard hit. This is from somebody who we did not realize was there. But fortunately, only got two shots. And he did take a dazed shot against us, but our heavy armor protected us really, really well. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. It's time to get to work, guys. Once again, taking damage. Never a good fun thing early on when you can't afford that many med kits. Let's finish this guy and play, wreak some havoc with the team's or the adversary's will. All it took was one. Uh, now we've got a couple guys out here. We've got three guys out here. We need to find a way to, to deal with them. You have a shot on one. Let's see what it looks like. I think what we are going to do, we're going to give you a little rotation of the angle and we're going to sidestep you over here and give you a much better angle for your shot. Take him out, please. Good job. Good job, Shane. Coming through. The Marine Grunt has a little Marine in herself, so that's good. Um, Max, so we got two of you. For two guys over here, I don't have a way for any of my snipers to gain uh, lines of sight for us. So we're going to run you up to start giving us some possibilities. Next turn. And I think we're going to do the same for you now. I'm kind of feeling uh, they have not decided to utilize this building off on the left. And as far as the right angle that's going to get us into the game sooner, we're going to bring you here. So, Callum, you haven't, we haven't been able to position you. Well, I guess you did get some shots. Now we got to deal with these guys. And we're bleeding a little bit. So what we're going to do with you, Michael, is we're going to take the shot, hopefully finish this guy off right in front of us. Good job. And then... We're going to try and take you out of the line of sight of any return pistol shots. Okay. Because we got to get you healed to stop the bleeding. 
Uh, that means if I move forward and only injure this guy, everybody else is at least in some kind of cover. I'll tell you what, we're going we're gonna to use our dash for the first time. We're going to dash up to the door, take our shot, and then dash to safety. That's uh, the, the easiest way to do it that I know of, and yet do some damage and keep ourselves safe. As safe as possible. Yeah, he just called us a bastard, Max. I think we need to pay him back for that. Uh, if we run through the door, that's probably not the best. He's still going to be able to run through the door and take a shot at us. We just can't get far enough away to be totally safe. Uh, we gotta, we got we gotta, we gotta get some better speed here going. So we'll run you behind this chair at least for some cover. Whoops, I mean, uh, not run you, dash you. There we go. Let's hope that's good enough. Michael, stay safe. And let's see if we did indeed stay safe. Okay, he's gonna get a shot, and he missed. He, he shot, oh, he did hit us, but that should be his only shot that he could take. Okay, now, Joe Murata. The question is, I don't have a lot of, a lot, I don't have a lot of resources early on, so it might be in my best interest to hang on to the med kits for when I really need them. We're right next to the base. After we finish this mission, let's see, you Takeda, I'm going to try and get you this kill because you need a promotion. I, I, Max, you already got your promotion. I think you got a kill. Yeah, we're going to try spreading around the, the love here. In fact, we'll try it with, uh, now Shane, you've gotten a kill. Callum, I don't think, did you, you did, I think you got an injury, but not a kill. Let's see, let's start out you with a kill because you, Takeda, you got some pistol. Uh, yeah, I think you'll be able to get promoted, you. I'm hoping. We're going to play it this way. Lining up a shot. Apologies if you don't get promoted. Oh. Nice. Hit. Even if we don't do anything else, I think he's bleeding out. Yes, he is. Um, but let's shoot. Let's shoot. I want to shoot. We'll try a pistol. Finger on the trigger. And see if we can finish him this way with the cheapest ammo we got. Well, it's not going to be cheap if you take too many shots. There you go. Is that it? So we're taking more damage than I prefer. And, uh... You, Takeda, I'm really sorry. I should have had you take that to get the experience. But we got the low, low level guys um, at least a little experience, and you're still ahead of them. So uh, we got to get our snipers leveled up uh, to that Overwatch level because they're not as useful as you found out until we get uh, the cheap Overwatch and Quick Aim. But we have all the active assaults and now our heavy leveled up. So that's good news. Hi there. My name is Athena, and I'd like to thank you on behalf of Synedrion as a whole. You know, outsiders sometimes think of Synedrion as a bunch of naive, helpless people living in a big bubble. And I know we can appear that way, but the truth is we are more like a powder keg. Trying to build a truly democratic society without hierarchies involves a lot of arguing. The terraformers want one thing, the polyphonic tendency another. Zara clashes with Nikolai, Stas tries to keep everyone calm, every haven has a totally different set of priorities, and then something like this happens. Well, let's continue. Keep talking. I'm being honest about our flaws, because I think, crazily enough, the whole thing works. We've built something remarkable, given everything we've been through, and the Phoenix Project could help us really make a difference on this wretched planet. Think about it, please. We have a lot in common, and here's your payment. 
We believe in people being rewarded for their labor. So I think on this particular one, just because our resources are so low, um, usually I think acts of solidarity do not require payment. That helps our um, relations with them by choosing that one. But I think if we do this, our relations, so I, I don't think it's a huge significance and I want any kind of resources I can get from them as a reward. So watch it be food so it won't, it's something that won't matter. But I, I'm going to take the chance to get some resources here and a little less diplomacy, hoping we can make it up down the road. You're welcome. I hope we can work together again. Wow, who knew it was tech? That, that is nice. And I think the attitude change on the other choice is only like three. Don't trust my memory. But I, I think this is a nice trade-off given our situation right now. But supply, uh, materials is our big need right now. And we're using eight more to make up for the ammo. And uh, we are injured, but we have some med kits. And I might be able to make another one or two here, which I think I'm going to do. And we have some new research also. Reverse engineering of this a laser pistol. Um, I'm not always a big fan of reverse engineering. I'd rather spend time on other things, but, but it's there if we did change our mind down the road. One thing I'm going to do and change my mind on, um, Haven Recruitment Protocol, since we did find uh, three soldiers early on, I'm going to move Phoenix Archives up. And the reason being, even though it's a full day of research, if we can find that mission, I much prefer doing the mission that results from this one. If we're lucky enough to, to, to do it quick enough or get this research quick enough before the Pandorans develop firearms. Uh, it's much easier mission to do if they only have claws. So for that reason alone, I'm going to move this up and then uh, just, just switch these two. Uh, Minefragger is also kind of important because it would give us uh, those supplies we desperately need, uh, those materials, but oh well, this is, this is our choice. There's, there's so many ways we could go, but this is the way I've decided to do it, just because this mission becomes easier for me when it's close up. Um, let's get back out to the geoscape. I think what we're going to do is do our promotions real quick. Joe Murata. Well, your, your melee attack is now increased in damage. So uh, we're going to take that for sure. And even though you don't have a machine gun style weapon, I'm going to hold off until we, we gain access. Well, actually, you do have a machine gun style weapon. And what we may do is I may, because we have access. We never found a heavy, though, or we would have had access to one already. Um so until I build one, I take that back because we, we can't really afford to build one. Until I get a machine gun style weapon, uh, I am not going to pick this biochemist up, but I do want it eventually for us. What I will do is give us one more will and save that in reserve for when we need to pick up biochemist. Hopefully it'll give us enough. And what we got now? Oh, Michael Romanov. As an assault, you get the all-important dash. And we will pick this up also, but I'll hold off on that too temporarily until we get access to shotguns and or melee weapons. And uh, we're definitely going to be picking that one up. And we'll pop in another will for you, keeping a few points in reserve for the secondary perks. There. So now we're at least advanced in case we get ambushed early. Um... And Kairos, let me get down to Kairos real quick because we haven't taken a look at him. Uh, one thing I'm going to do for you, Kairos, is uh, this independent armor is a little less protective and a lot more clunkier. You have less stealth with this armor, so we're going to replace it because we happen to have one last pair of Phoenix Point armor. And we are going to upgrade your weapon and deal with it that way. Um... And leave it at that. 
you train well, get yourself promoted while you're sitting in the background until we, we are able to take you out and have room in our ships to do it. Or get another ship, I should say. You, you can argue that maybe I need to try and steal a Helios right off the bat, but no, I want to explore. We need resources uh, before I go stealing and worrying about diplomacy and, and whatnot. And uh, we're just going to go over here and research or, or explore those question marks closest to the mist. So if it expands and they happen to be havens, we have, we're aware of them. We can help potentially defend them. And uh, in the meantime, we got some grenades in the works. Uh, we're going to throw in a med kit because we can. Just one more. And we'll keep that in reserve for, for some healing we're going to need to do when we find our next episode. So let's get up here to explore. Stamina is okay. And the, the health we can fix with med kits. So we're, we're going we're gonna to take that chance. Building Democracy. Our operatives have made contact with New Athens, a haven that only joined a Synedrian relatively recently. Yeah, another Synedrian. The citizens of New Athens are currently in the process of converting their old council hall into a facility better suited for a full democratic assembly. They could use some building materials and are willing to exchange them for excess equipment. Um, well, we don't have the materials, so we can't get any bonus from them. So uh, unfortunately, we're not going to tell them they're idiots. We have to reject the offer and hope that doesn't hurt diplomacy. Yeah, the Haven doesn't like us. So, so much for that first move there. Let's continue on a nearby exploration site. In search of our next mission. Grenades are popping out. So well, that's good. Fungal crisis. When the incorruptible arrives at Oz, our operatives encounter a crisis situation. An unknown fungus has been found growing inside the Haven. The local scientists are extremely alarmed and everyone is doing their best to figure out how bad the situation is. And uh, we are going to, and I'm assuming it is, yeah, those buildings kind of look Synedrian. So we found ourselves yet another Synedrian base let's offer the tech that we got as a bonus <laughs> and give some right back to them there we go synedrian's attitude has improved to us so we're gaining some of that back and this haven on the other hand likes us a lot after a great deal of hard work the growth is isolated and removed it turns out to be a highly mutated strain of aromothesium uh, you know who makes up these scientific names? Gossipi, which could have caused severe damage to the Haven's crops. How it infiltrated, the, Haven's remain, uh, the Haven remains unknown, but the inhabitants are deeply thankful for our help. So we got rid of the fungal crisis. So the next closest to the mist is right here. We'll explore here. Can we please find some materials instead of... Spend them. All right. The augury. We catch wind of an ongoing Anu ritual called the augury. It's a form of divination based on the observation of birds and signs in the sky. The disciples deem the readings of utmost importance, broadcasting the same message on all frequencies. It says, the moon is dark and the gods dance in the night. Dia Faram, Dia Fodham. There is terror in the sky. The long winging flight through the void shall find its resting place tonight. And those below shall suffer one and all. Dia Faram, Dia Fodham. One and all. Somehow this unnerving sound clip manages to cause unease, even amongst the most scientifically minded members of our staff. So uh, that came, the Anu chant is coming from who knows where. I was thinking maybe this was a Disciples of Anu Haven we found, but let's go 
finish our exploration. The reshaping of animals. The Incorruptible has encountered what at first appears to be an Anu religious procession, but it is in fact a scientific expedition. We have come to seek understanding of the divine principles that guide the reshaping of animals. The Agnostes leading the expedition tells our operatives to understand why claw replaces hand, why eye becomes a stock. It is only one step in a long road, of course, but how else will we reach enlightenment? Um, if we assist, may, we may risk pissing off um, Synedrian. Or let, let's assist at this point, since we got that little bonus perk in relations with Synedrian, just to start building some relations with Anu. Uh, and then once we see how relations are going, we can make our decisions on who we need to uh, deal with the best with this new diplomacy that we're going to discover more of in this game. So yeah, new. oh, it's new Jericho's attitude to us has dipped. So it was not Synedrian. But we gained some research, which is good. The Agnostes is grateful for our assistance. The Exalted has taught us that we cannot achieve anything that truly matters without cooperation, he says. We need each other to survive, and all our understanding is built on the accomplishments of others. There is no other path to enlightenment. Therefore, let us share in this knowledge together. So good job. Oh, and it, wa it wasn't even an Anu base of all things. Uh, so uh, here's another site that's relatively... Well, we'll go here just for speed. We'll, and this is the next closest to the mist also, along with this one. We need to find some other havens. Okay, the Phoenix Archives have completed. Randall Symes was the last leader of the Phoenix Project. His great-grandfather had been there when it was founded, and he was there to witness its end. When we took back Phoenix Point, we found his notes. In his final days, as the world collapsed around him, he had been working frantically to understand the Pandora virus. Somewhere in the complicated history of the project, in decades of missions and investigations, there had to be an answer. His notes were damaged, too many of the files corrupted. But perhaps, if we could retrace his steps, we could figure out where his journey had taken him and what the answers he had discovered would mean for us. Research complete. All right, so also Haven Recruitment Protocols has finished because of that boost to research that we picked up, so we can now recruit soldiers from the Havens. Whatever happened to Dr. Symes? Randolph Symes III's notes indicate the existence of a private retreat owned by the Symes family, used as a place of meditation and research. It may contain information that could help us understand what Symes was trying to achieve in his final days. So uh, we now have a new site out there, so let's go find out where it is. And it's in the mist on the island. But I'm going to detour right away. This is going to be our next mission because I want to get there before the Pandorans gain access to weapons to shoot back at us. Uh, I'm going to take a little quick look at uh, research and we definitely want to get Haven trade protocols in there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to keep Minefragger there just for the materials and I'm going to move up trade protocols after that. Uh, just in case we get in a weird shape, we, we potentially have the ability to trade ourselves out of a tight spot. And we are going to detour right here. We'll have med kits, and I'll buy another one if we need to, even afterwards. So let's get over here to the Symes Retreat. And there we go. It looks like we made it before the first Pandoran evolution. Our operatives have reached Randolph Symes III's private retreat, where we may be able to find additional information that may help us decipher his notes and make sense of his activities. However, our scans indicate enemy presence in the area. So this is our mission next time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I'm looking forward to it because we made it in time before the Pandorans gain access to weapons. So I feel confident that we'll be able to do well on this one and uh, successfully complete it. But you'll have to join me next time to find out if my intuition is correct. 
Uh, hope you enjoyed today's mission. We took, oh, once again, we took a little more hurt than I would prefer, but we at least got the mission done. We have a few med kits. We should be okay. Um, this is Zig Zag Zog signing off from somewhere in this world. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.